Duh, as they say. It's not boner to boner, as uh, I often say. What in the world is going on here on the old Twitter machine? I, I don't have a clue. Lots of things happening. Lots of things going on. Uh, all sorts of things happening. All sorts of things going on, as they say. Get a hold of us online over there at j i g g y j g u a r dot com. Jig man fraud with you. Uh, let's see if we can get a hold of the amazing Roger Homefield. We'll see if we can call him early and see if the um, if the man is there as he is as as he is um, the man the man not Goldberg the man. What is this? I don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and drop that. And we will see what happens. We'll see if Roger Homefield gets a hold of us. I guess what we could do is just get a hold of him. We'll call him early. We'll see if we can get him on early. Let's see if we can get we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get Roger Homefield on early, uh, a couple minutes early. And we'll see if the uh, the master the, the 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 let's see. Would I refer to him as the master debater, the cunning linguist, and the admiral of alliteration? I might. Um, <laughs> Roger Homefield, how are you, sir? I'm I'm thrilled that oh my microphone over here. <laughs> Classic home that field, rang me. I'm still so new to this. I said, what's this? I saw a red and a green. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's really? right. I was searching and panicking. Just so oh, you understand you what level you're dealing panic. with here we... when I tell you about the technology, like, drives me crazy. Anyway, so thanks for calling. I'm here. Great to be back with you, Jiggy. Go so, ahead. So, uh, I see a bunch of different things going on today. One of the things that I see... Uh, besides all these interesting people on 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 Twitter, um, so apparently uh, there is all sorts of things happening. Um, one of the things that is going on is, I guess, uh, which uh, this is incredibly insane if this happens. Um, so this deal with Joe Biden and uh, Trump, and now RFK Jr. is involved in the mix. Uh, what do you think of this potential three-way dance, as they say, be 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 between these guys? Jiggy, you've got me at a total loss. I thought you were going to talk about Schumer stabbing Israel in the back. Well, we can talk about to that, stab. too, but... Well, basically, RF, RFK says he's going to run as an independent. People are panicking on both sides because they're afraid that he'll take votes away from both of them. Okay. <laughs> and people are already not really interested. The, the Biden people don't really want to vote for Biden, and some of the Republicans don't want to vote for Trump. So it's like they're both sitting there going, well, I guess we could... And I think RFK is only running because he, he thinks, well, the people that are mad at the Democrats will support him because he's a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And the people that are mad at Trump will support him because he sometimes has uh, conservative-leaning views. So, right. <laughs> but, but, but there's no, like, agreement among the three of them about it. I think that that's, that's sort of... No, no. Uh, I don't... I don't think it'll make much difference in the election one way or the other. If, if that's what you're talking about, like who's it going to hurt more? Um, I don't know. It's a funny argument because in one way you'd think that any disgruntled Democrat would want to vote for RFK. Yeah. Uh, 
And he does have some overlapping policies to Trump, but it's not like Trump. he's not a conservative. Um, I'm not as expert on his policies as I'd like to be right now, frankly. Uh, but I know that there are differences and he's not. A, I'd still love to see him in the administration like Wayne Allen Root uh, talked about on your show several months ago. I'd love to see him head up a commission on the whole uh, COVID issue. Um, but I don't No, Trump is going to win in a romp. And, you know, look, I don't often take victory laps, do I, Jiggy? But didn't I say from the very, very, very beginning that DeSantis was making a big mistake? Trump was just going to romp through the whole thing from wire to wire. And that's exactly what's happened. And he's yes. going to continue to. I don't think anybody's going to stop him. RFK, God bless him. I'd like to see him in government. I'm an old JFK Democrat. There's a lot of love that is still there and will always be there. And um, I would love to see RFK in this government. So... Let's talk about the Israel thing. You 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 brought it up earlier. Give 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 us your take on this. My take on this is complete freaking outrage. <laughs> Schumer is a despicable piece of garbage, and I want to I want to ooh ooh I want to applaud you, Schumer. Congratulations for officially joining the terrorist ring wing. I can never say that. Damn it. Congratulations for joining the terrorist wing of the Democrat Party. And I, I can't describe it any better than that. That's exactly what he's done. He has joined the terrorist wing of the Democrat Party. To say that Netanyahu has lost his way? Why? Because he's found his way to Rafa, where the rest of Hamas is? Where to finish the job? That's where it is. He's lost his way. No, actually, Schumer, he found his way. And you, Schumer, you have lost your way. You've lost your moral compass. You've lost everything of who you are. You're a disgrace to your people. You're a disgrace to Israel. You're a disgrace to Jews. And you're a traitor to America because Israel is our best, strongest ally. And you're putting her in jeopardy now. Who the hell do you think is next? There's little Satan and we're big Satan. So I don't understand this kind of behavior. It's like, has your body been invaded by some body snatchers? I mean... <laughs> And, and, and we've become accustomed to this insanity, Jiggy, incrementally, whether it be drag queens sitting with second graders. Oh, OK, that's normal. I mean, you know, we're, we're told one and one is three, 24 seven to condition us to insanity. And here we are, <laughs> our best ally being thrown under the bus. Didn't we all agree that Israel had to defeat Hamas lock, stock and barrel? Everybody said that. Big kumbaya. Hamas must be destroyed, uh, destroyed completely. Then the cracks started to occur. Then the undermining began out of nowhere. Uh, it was for the purposes of undermining, such as telling Israel to stay within the rules of war. Why would you tell the most benevolent military or something like that, other than to maybe give credence to the other side who loves to spread propaganda? Such as apartheid. Israel is the only is not an apartheid. All this propaganda is just nonstop, twenty four seven. And when you have a turncoat like Schumer to do what he has done today, what an absolute, what a disgrace! Remember, he was in D.C. pandering to the three hundred thousand uh, uh, pro Israelis, and you know, look, the whole country used to be pro Israeli. It was always Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, <laughs> wasn't it? Now these well, same thought. people, like you said. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, too. You don't care if they get killed now? Really? Uh, Schumer's lost his way. The Democrats have lost his way. And they're trying to have the whole country uh, lose its way. The last of Hamas is in Rafah. And they have to go. Period. And the good thing, Jiggy. Yes. And it's sad, but it's good. They're not going to take schumer seriously or sadly to say america i mean who can who does take look look at it this way we won't even defend ourselves 
Biden won't defend America. We get attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked. We sit around picking our noses, scratching our asses, just waiting for Iran to get the bomb. And we don't defend ourselves from all the attacks we've been sustaining. But yet we're going to be the ones to tell Netanyahu how to defend his country that has an existential threat at their doorstep. And we're going to tell him how to protect his citizens after his enemy put his babies in ovens. And Schumer's got the frickin' nerve to come out and say this. What a disgrace. It's a stain to this country. Schumer, you're a stain to this country. Biden, you're a stain to this country. And this has got nothing to do about adversarial, who you are, where I'm from. Oh, he's Jewish, he's mu- No, this is right and wrong. And if we don't know the difference between right and wrong, if right and wrong could be blurred so easily at this point, it's over already. No, I don't believe that's the case. And I hope this blowback that Schumer gets bowls him over. And we just better hope the election gets here sooner than later. We have got... No. How the hell do I put a show together now, Jiggy? <laughs> Jiggy's been kind enough to Jesus. drag me into this fray because it's so much fun, as you can see. <laughs> Isn't this a lot of fun? I love you. And You're great. I've got an important show to piece together uh, with this gentleman that, that's doing the, that did the RFK, the real movie. Yeah. And yet things pop up in the news at the last second, like Jack in the Box. You know, things just popping up everywhere. Uh, and it's very quick and it's nonstop. It's fluid. And it will really give you whiplash because... I guess our friends and our enemies are getting whiplash again. Who, who are our friends, who are our enemies, who are our allies? You know, it's like the things we do, it's just, it's just bizarre. I still believe in America. We will come out of this. But everybody's got to be a Joe citizen. Everybody's got to be a Joe citizen and speak up and speak out. We can't just say, oh, okay, this happened. Oh, all right. I'll give you an example. When Obama was president, uh, Janet Napolitano uh, was in the administration and when they said that returning servicemen and, oh, who was the other class of people? People that go to church, something like that. Yeah. But returning servicemen and another group of wholesome people would be on the homeland security list. But, huh? Kind of the whole point of creating the organization is to put terrorists on that list, but okay. Oh yeah, well, well, Obama took, literally took out Islamic terrorism. I mean, the words. He took out the words Islamic terrorism from all law enforcement manuals. That's FBI, that's DOJ, that's sheriffs, all law enforcement manuals. So, so, they're supposed to go out and find terrorists. They're supposed to go out looking and finding Islamic terrorists, but they cannot call them Islamic terrorists. That's like... Uh, that sounds like I mean, a he, idea, actually, he paint, It was like those cartoons where you don't like something, so you just kind of paint it out. Or that's you, right. You draw a picture of a canyon that you can run in to escape. That's what Obama did. He said, oh, there's no war on terror anymore. That's why Benghazi, that wasn't because it was 9-11. It wasn't terrorism. It was because of the video. The video. I am so tired of these scumbag liars. And I, I haven't discussed with you off the air just what four-lettered words you can use or not. I, I, I told you a long time ago, I don't want to use any in respect to my great. late father, Commander ha Dr. Harold E. Holmfield. He was such a gentleman. And I don't want him spinning uh, up there uh, in heaven in circles. But uh, it's very tough for me not to curse when I think of what these people are doing, America was hey. the moral compass of the world. And we rightly were so. It didn't mean that we didn't do any unscrupulous things. But we were basically, we were the center of gravity. We were what helped keep things together. And when we behave like this, like a banana republic, a third world country, he's talking about overthrowing a sovereign country's duly elected, a democratic country's duly elected government. And he's saying, you know, I think they should have a special election. 
Are you freaking kidding me? What? Uh, I mean, is this real? And the country he's talking about is a country that's our best ally, our strongest ally, and an ally that's at war in an existential battle. And folks, this is not just Israel's battle. Tom Trento, among many others, always used to say the phrase over and over again, and it's true. It's a clash of civilizations. This is way bigger than the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip is being meant to use as a little, you know, to create a spark. So to see Chuck Schumer, who certainly should know better, he knows about little Satan, big Satan. You know, 9-11 was... Well, yeah, this is 2024, Jiggy, and nobody understands what jihad is, what it was. Jihad didn't start or end on 9-11, okay? Yep. And we're seeing some big-time propaganda and pressure and big bucks, big Arabian oil bucks going to buy a lot of big people and fill everybody's head with a bunch of bull sugar. <laughs> now... You got one country that doesn't cut off people's noses. They don't burn them alive. You don't need four witnesses for a woman to say she was raped. You have one civilized country out there, and then you have their neighbors who put babies in ovens. Now, whose side do you really want to be on? I mean, does it really take a whole lot of thought? If anybody knows anything about the countries there, they see uh, Israel is like green because they planted trees, they planted gardens, they planted everything. All they ever did was put seeds in the ground. They don't want to kill people. They just want to live and be left the hell alone. You get that, America? I think America does, but not the brainwashed. Israel just wants to be left alone. They're not trying to expand anything. Oh, there's occupation. O occupation, the occupation you're talking about is on land that Israel won in a war in which she was attacked. She was attacked. So she held on to that land so that she wouldn't get attacked from there again. And uh, actually, they left the Gaza Strip in 2005 and let them run themselves. Jiggy, I'm, I'm going way off into, into the weeds, <laughs> into the woods. Well, uh, I don't want to do that to you. Well, uh, Roger... It, um You've got an incredible show coming up today. Um, before we let you go, uh, how do people find your stuff online, your music, uh, the shows, everything? Uh, well, I've got music, but screw music, right? But anyway, <laughs> I love big bands. That's screw your music. Rogerhomefield.net. That's but awesome. JoeCitizenShow.com is in the till it's coming it's there it's just i'm too busy to really do anything with it and i went on rumble and really a lot of our shows are on rumble jiggy we are I saw all over rumble. go to rumble and put uh, roger homefield uh, a lot of jiggy shows will pop up and uh anyway jiggy it's uh but i don't know how how long it can just keep on going it's one thing to do a show every day yes okay it's another thing to like have an emotional experience every day you know which is really not of the choosing but it's almost hard to avoid if you put on the tv if you follow what's going on and uh it's really frightening and you know the, the name of the show is the joe citizen show and the credo of the show is that we all are joe citizens we all need to be joe citizen and we're all going to have to be there for uncle sam otherwise we're not going to be able to get up on the right side of history well, Roger, we're going to leave it there, and I will talk to you next week, my friend. I didn't let you talk, Jiggy. <laughs> no, that's that's why we do these. That's why we do these. I will talk to you next week, brother. All right, thanks, Jiggy. Appreciate it. Take there care. he goes. Fantastic. Roger Ohmfield with Ooh. us today joins us live here on 